Hello, this is Captain Vaughn, and welcome to another video. Today's topic is the mobile tack pod, or more simply known as the tack pod. The tack pod was a type of transport used during the imperial era, and three mobile tack pods descended to a village on Ferrix, ferrying Cyril Karn and his corporate authority officers. And the tack pod was a troop transport and landing craft used by the Primor enforcement to deploy sentry guards from Preoxmoor land personnel carriers to planetary surfaces and to provide air to ground support to operating units. It was also used as an aerial surveillance platform in urban operations. In addition the vessel was piloted by a single pilot seated in an elevated position in the front of the craft, and had space for at least six standing officers in a troop compartment in the back, and, when in landing configuration, its wings would fold up towards its engines to provide space for the crew to disembark, and although the engines were powerful enough to perform atmospheric flights, the engines were not hyperdrive capable and the TAC pod had to dock on Preoxmoor land interstellar vessels to travel from planet to planet. Anyway now to the stats, the TAC pod was 10 meters long and it was equipped with two engine units. In addition the vessel could go at speeds of up to 1000 km per hour, and it was not equipped with a hyperdrive. The TAC pod was equipped with rather heavy armament, for a ship of its size, as it was equipped with one ball-mounted laser cannon and one laser cannon turret. The TAC pod could be operated by a minimum crew of one and it required no additional crew members in order to operate effectively. In addition the vessel could carry at least 6 passengers, 500 kilograms of cargo, and 1 week's worth of consumables. The TAC pod's manufacturer was strangely unknown, and it would have cost 25,000 credits new and 10,000 credits used. Now to my personal opinion, overall I believe that this vessel would have been well worth the price if you were looking to buy a well-armed and quick little transport. It was however incapable of hyperspeed travel, which was an inconvenience, and some may argue that it was too small, although I think it's rather unique and effective. I mean having a smaller transport does have some advantages. Anyway that's all for today and until next time I'm Captain Vaughn and thank you for watching.